Hello and welcome to this presentation about SOLIDWORKS uh, simulation. Uh, the theme of this segment is reports. My name is Reza Tabatabai. I'm a senior technical manager for the simulation products at the Cell Systems uh, SOLIDWORKS and I live in the San Francisco Bay Area in California. The topics uh, I will cover today. First, a few words about the significance of uh, proper documentation. Uh, then I'll uh, review the reporting options in SOLIDWORKS simulation and the interface and uh, summarize with a few recommendations. When you create a CAD model, in general, what you see is what you get. Simulation is somewhat different. First of all, uh, from the user perspective, it is more technical. It must be clear what you are doing and why you are doing it. Some of this info can be extracted by another finite element user by going through your study if the setup is available to him. Other information may need some explanation. For example, you assign the user-defined material. Where did you get the values from? Also, the introduction and intent of running an analysis and uh, some of the conclusions and lessons you learned, uh, this should be reported. Otherwise, uh, you yourself may not remember it in a few months' time, let alone other parties outside of the simulation circle. SOLIDWORKS simulation has automatic reporting capabilities, very easy to use with a few clicks. So use that as a basis. But remember, there are different people interested in your simulation. So try to accommodate uh, the interests of uh, various parties in your report documentation. In the top menu bar on the simulation, if you choose options, on the default options, you can choose the default plots as well as the default options for reports. The report formats are customized uh, to the study type. You cannot add the new formats uh, to the list. On the report sections, you see all uh, the topics available based on the selected uh, study format. These are the program default options. As the new studies are created, the report options for a particular study can be changed within the newly created uh, study. After you create a study on the simulation and the selecting report, uh, you can modify the report format for the current study. Applying this will create a report folder under your study tree with a new report file, or you can publish the report uh, right there. You can make modifications to this file uh, later using edit definition under the report folder. When you generate a report, the images correspond to the current state of the model, mesh, or results. Most of the time, you want to see results with uh, different settings or just in different orientations. For this, you can capture uh, current images and insert them into your report. You must publish the report to see the new images uh, in the report. The report sections are customized uh, to the report type. Select or clear a report section to include or exclude it uh, from the report. The customizable information in section properties varies depending on the selected report section. You can customize uh, these sections with the comments or set options to include additional data. Use comments especially to clarify info that cannot be extracted by reviewing the study setup itself. For example, if you're assigning a user-defined material, you may want to comment what was the source of this data. You yourself may need to come back to this sometime in the future, or another colleague may want to know if he can reuse this data elsewhere if it is from a reliable source. Also, in final element analysis, you always make assumptions by isolating your model 
from the environment around and going from the real world uh, to the virtual world without some explanation uh, other users or even you yourself uh, may be in the dark in the future as to why you did what you did. Publish uh, will create a Word document based on your uh, report options. You can expand uh, this Word document with any additional content or cut and paste the data from this document into another document, maybe another template and the format required by your own company and the reporting uh, guidelines. Beyond the generating of our document, you can also save all plots as a JPEG files or use the powerful eDrawings tool from SolidWorks to save simulation plots and preserve and share. A few words to sum up. With the automatic tools reviewed, reporting costs you very little time now, but can save you and others a lot of time later. Think of who will be using the report and prepare it accordingly. Those who have no access to the files or lack the knowledge to understand your setup can especially benefit from the report. Include in the report aspects of the simulation that cannot be learned by studying your setup such as assumptions and modeling choices. Uh, thank you for watching and your interest in uh, Dassault Systems uh, SolidWorks uh, simulation uh, products.